Oh, there we go. Hold on a second. Okay. First time, and also I've got to. I'm gonna to have to set up XSplit. Whoa, what? Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Apologies. Okay, so uh, now. So you're going to have to give me a second while I get this started because I've never played this with, um, yeah, um, because I've never played uh, this using Origin before. So we're about to fire it up for the first time. So you have to give me a second while I get XSplit uh, calibrated to use it. All right. Now it is time to activate X split. Hold, hang with me. Okay. Let's see if this works. Okay, you guys can see that, yes? Can everyone see that? Alright, now I have to put chat back up, so hold on a second. What? Alright, hang on a second while I screen region that. Have to make sure I can see all you wonderful people. Okay. All right. Now bear with me while I make some adjustments. Okay, for people watching the stream, can you see chat pretty well? And I'm not talking about, obviously I'm going to make it transparent in a minute, but is it large enough that you can see some of the words? For people looking at the stream, you follow what I'm asking? Yes, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Oh, and also I have to change... Okay, hold on one more second. I have to change... Uh, what I'm streaming. <laughs> so just hang on one second. Okay, I'm, I've updated it. Is is there? Okay. Don't I've everybody updated it? Whoops, sorry. Don't everybody do this? But can someone just refresh and make sure that it now says Mass Effect Three? Can someone check that for me, please? Not every. Don't everybody do it, but just one person. Yes, it does, rookie. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Cool. Here we go, guys. Let's get it on. Oh, wait. Connected to EA servers, what? Checking downloadable content. It does this? Okay. That's normal. Whoa, this is all like... Freaky. What? The devil? I already have this. Ugh, man. Origin. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, everyone ready? 
You folks ready to go? Just one mission now. Alright. You're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, Chrono. I understand. Hey, rap. <laughs> Let's do it up. Import ME2 character, of course. Select career. Soul survivor. I love how I can save any of these. Well, that's obviously going to be that. Let's see what this actually says. Save the Rachni Queen, rescued Ashley Williams on Vermeer, chose to save the council, <coughs> saved Malin's data, kept Rex Avalo alive on Vermeer, chose to rewrite the Geth Heretics, destroyed the Collector Base, survived the suicide missions with 12 squad mates, romanced Ashley before ME2, romanced Matt Miranda and ME2. Yeah, that sounds about right. That looks like him. Confirm. And, of course, my favorite. I started an infiltrator. I stay an infiltrator. Let's do it up. Let me know, guys, how the stream looks. Yeah, it is pretty good. Let me know, everybody, how the stream looks. Does it seem... Is it smooth? Does it sound good? It looks moi. Awesome. Love my computer. All right. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species. But this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50,000 years are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision, unable to accept the legend of the Reapers of Heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lyrics too strong. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The Defense Committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? My hair is... I knew that. My hair is a trifle darker than it normally should be, but that's about right. I mean, this was designed, by the way, my face was designed kind of the way I look like in real life. Except now I have a beard where at the time I just had a goatee. And those eyebrows and hair, a lot more reddish than mine. I'm blonde, not red. <laughs> but, anyway. Alright. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You face down a Reaper. Why, thank you, Gil. Thank you so much. Then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. That's pretty awesome. I know that, Shepard. 
and so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. <laughs> Mojo. Anderson. Well, Ashley. Look who's all grown up. Ashley. Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... Well... That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Ash. Me too. Admiral. Come on. Also, I did not uh, romance her. It was an accident. She looks a little weird still. I don't know. You know the commander? I used to. It was an accident, yeah. Miranda is the only one I really romanced. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. Just a little Walt Woodman and... situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the soul relay. Oh, yes, I think I may have mentioned this, this 50 is, times to you people. It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Well, for starters, give me a ship and let me go do my thing. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Uh-huh. In before Sir, Earth attack. UK headquarters has a visual. Oh boy. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? You freaking run? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Uh-oh. Well, it's on. Such a waste of a good mahogany desk. How many times can I get knocked out? <laughs> that escalated quickly. Gets foe mark. Report in anyone. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have to contact me. 
We'll meet you at the landing zone. Add us enough. Uh, this is a time when Welcome to Earth is not going to work the way it normally does. <coughs> They're massive. Come on, Shepard. You just hold your horses. All right. The Asari were the first. I already know about that. I already know about that. In the early I know about that. Two centuries I know ago, about that. The I know about that. The I know about that. The Hanar. I know about that. When the Asari, I know. The Krogan yeah. Driven from their home, right. The Volus yep. are a member species of the city. Let's just take a second. Earth. Oh, it is the okay. World and capital of humanity was enjoying a new golden age. Okay. Before. Thank you for letting me know. I figured it was the same. That's why I'm not spending a lot of time thinking about it. All right. Time for some level up points. Okay. What have we got here? Fitness, huh? Operational max mastery. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what, what? Alright, here we go. Oh, so this is all like Damn, look at that. Alright, I'll go back to the Reaper section in a minute. Rank five. Increase squad mate weapon damage by 10. Yes. Increase sniper rifle damage by 15. Yes. Okay, so that's now maxed out, right? <laughs> if he gets fat, yeah, great. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guess who's not melee guy? All right, tactical cloak. Interesting. Uh, this is a kind of interesting uh, expanding tree. It's kind of cool. Recharge and melee damage, you know. Recharge speed, please. So far, I've liked these very simple choices. Fire one sniper damage. Oh my god, 40%. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. What, fitness? Uh, that's fine, I'll go back to it, I'll deal with it later, but this, th I was definitely going to max these anyway. This is really interesting here. Oh, I can't even upgrade it, can I? This will be something to keep in mind. Yeah, that is kind of a tough choice. I won't do it right now, I, I can't do it right now anyway, but that's interesting. I think I would be inclined to... Yeah. Reputation. Oh, this is how they do the Paragon thing now? Okay. Alright. Squad. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Oh, Let's my. Move. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's. <laughs> hang on now. Let's invert some stuff, please. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. Uh, let's make sure we got everything set. Combat difficulty is normal. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Yeah, that is pretty cool, Arctic. You're right. I may end up doing that power thing. A third thing besides Paragon and Renegade. All right. Um, narrative and other narratives. So, oh, I need subtitles. Yes, I do. They have a mode to get rid of your decisions? What? Really? Yeah, I know, but... Alright, let's take a look at the graphics here. That's all fine. Sound should be alright. Is the, is my sound relative to the volume okay? I'm going to drop this a bit. I know you can't tell right now, but like... Okay. I'm quite loud. Like, am I too loud? Oh, okay, okay. 
All right. So now what I'm looking for is just online options. What? What? No, you don't need to know that. Okay. Um, mouse. Invert. Invert. Yay. Invert. Okay. Sensitivity. We'll find out. Blah, blah, blah. All right. All right. That's the same. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Focused. Wow, look at that. Focused. Codex updated. Ashley Williams. Uh... Oh, how do I screenshot in Origin? Does anyone know how I screenshot in Origin? Is it F12? Does anybody know? No, I didn't do it. Oh my god, look at all the updates. Maybe it'll say in here. Arjun- oh, Really? Arjun doesn't support screenshots? Really? We're just like Steam, except far worse. Look at that. How awesome would that be for a screenshot? Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, random. Oh, wait. Am I not in borderless windowed? Maybe I haven't needed to be. You know what? You're totally right. I am supposed to be in borderless windowed anyway. Okay. Still look fine for everybody? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Still look fine? Still look good? Okay, cool. Alright, now... Um... Before I forget, let's see what it says about the Reaper War. For every thousand Batarian refugees, there are a thousand and one stories about how the Reapers uh, invaded the Batarian systems. A few elements are common to almost every version, however. The Reapers arrived first in the Vular system and immediately destroyed its communications network. Yes, I can use the mouse scroll wheel finally, thank God. The Hegemony's Department of Information Control blamed the loss of signal on space weather. But scrambled ships to the system nonetheless. Within a day, Reaper capital ships appeared in the harshest system and descended on the Batarian homeworld, Karshan. For all the rhetoric about the Hegemony's military prowess, their response to the Reapers was uncoordinated. Moments after the information minister took to the extranet and announced that unknown ships were destroying all space traffic near Karshan, the defense minister declared there was no reason to panic. The planet's comm buoys were destroyed next, creating an ominous silence that has persisted ever since. Fearing they were next, Batarian colonies across the Gemini space began evacuations. So many refugees poured into the human-occupied Exodus cluster that Systems Alliance officers, officials at first thought the Batarians were invading. Hey, Splatter. Yeah, you did, man. I did, I did it last night, and I did an um, arrival early today. Many systems have gone dark as their combos were destroyed. Millions more Batarians trapped on their planets sit waiting for the Reapers. I see. The Reaper called Harbinger is All right, I'm just going to do these the and then and do head on. Armada. From the reaches of dark space, Harbinger managed to control the Collectors, a race of human-sized insectoid bipeds, as it sent them on a campaign to kill and gather humans from vulnerable colonies. The Collectors became a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Surviving colonists <laughs> described the tone of Harbinger's threats heard through the collectors as they attacked as visceral and terrifying. Alliance Intelligence has tentatively identified Harbinger as one of the Reapers leading the attack on Earth. A myth common to several cultures in the galaxy, Reapers were once imagined as space monsters that consumed entire stars. Yes, I got the best ending. Yep. The and there is a highlight found little on my uh, channel um, that has that uh, me that doing that so to primitive cultures although accurate information about the reapers remains scarce the galaxy now knows that the reapers are not a myth 
They are a real and devastating threat. Also, chat, we've hit a milestone. This is my most concurrent viewers ever. We just hit 35. So welcome to everybody, and thanks, everyone, for supporting the channel. Sovereign was the first Reaper encountered by the modern Citadel races. I do love that Arctic. Military leaders initially assumed that Sovereign was hey, a man. Death or Prothean flagship commanded by Saren Arterius, a rogue specter. The truth was far more alarming. The massive ship was itself intelligent, and Saren proved to be under its control. Thank you. The attacks by Sovereign against Eden Prime and the Citadel removed any uncertainty about the Reaper's technological superiority. Sovereign's formidable shielding and firepower allowed it to hold off the combined fleets of the Citadel. And its mass effect fields proved powerful enough to let the immune on my channel land really on a planet surface. Yeah, not in this channel, Sovereign's Random. Sovereign's mission to open a mass relay that would transport the other Reapers from dark space proved its undoing. During the Battle of the Citadel, Sovereign linked its consciousness to Saren's. When Saren's death corrupted the signal and shut down Sovereign's shields, Sovereign's destruction soon followed. That's cool. All right. Known associates. Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance, currently assigned to Arcturus Station on the Just these two, and then we'll get underway, everybody. In the battle I mean, these the Citadel, three, rather. Admiral Hackett commanded the Fifth Fleet. And welcome to everybody. If you like what you see in here, please follow. Head of the Alliance military. And thank you. Hackett was born to a single mother in Buenos Aires in 2134. When his mother died in the pandemic of 2146, he was placed in the Advanced Training Academy for Juveniles, where his superior talents in science and leadership quickly became evident. Hackett enlisted in 2152, volunteering for high-risk missions to colonize space beyond the Sol Relay. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant on Arcturus Station in 2156, and soon proved his ability in the first contact war. Well, thank you, Random. His rare ascent from enlisted man to admiral remains an alliance legend. Yeah, random. Did you get my um? Oh, thanks, Gek. I appreciate that. Yeah, random. Did you see? Uh, you got you saw the message that I sent you, right? The Twitch message. Admiral David Edward Anderson is a career military officer in the Systems Alliance Navy. Born in London in 2137. No, he was born in London. He later moved to Arcturus Station and became the first graduate of the Alliance's now renowned N7 Marine program. Anderson is one of the Alliance's most decorated Special Forces operatives and served with honor during the First Contact War. He was the original captain of the SSV Normandy before relinquishing command to his XO, Commander Shepard. After the Alliance victory in the Battle of the Citadel, Anderson briefly served as the Citadel's first human counselor. He soon became embroiled in a Cerberus plot to abduct his friend Kaylee Sanders, however, and learned that he was unable to live a life without action. He stepped down as counselor and returned to the military to prepare for the Reaper invasion. The Alliance Parliament named Donald Udina as his successor. Oh my god. Udina? Really? I thought I brought that guy down when I was doing the Shadow Broker stuff. Um, let's see. Let me just catch up with chat quickly. Um, art thou bored? It kind of depends um, because I'm, I'm a college professor and a writer, so I'm always doing a lot of things that sort of around streaming. <laughs> so it kind of depends on what's going on. Um, Usually I try to stream a couple times a week, um, occasionally more, but during busy periods it may be less. So it just kind of depends. That's why following is the best way to know, basically one way or the other. Sat, thanks for the advice, although I don't know. I feel like origin plus steam equals computer death. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, thanks, EG. Um, I, yeah, I actually do, um, I do have a Twitter. Um, but uh, if you go to my website, which maybe somebody will be nice enough to uh, post for me, you'll be able to see it there. And random uh, was a guy named. Um, uh, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> the reason I have to look is because he changed his name, so that's why uh, the cover artist was Joshua David McClurg Genovese. That's his full name, and that's listed on there as well. So, all right. Okay, that's David Anderson. I can't believe Udine is the... That's, that says bad. Okay, last one and then we get going. Lieutenant Commander Ashley Williams is a career military officer with the Systems Alliance. Born in 2158 to a military family, Williams enlisted directly out of high school, splitting time between Earth and hostile environment training on Titan. 
After earning numerous commendations early in her career, Williams became guide on Eden Prime, where she was the only member of her unit to survive the Geth attack. Williams then served as gunnery chief under Commander Shepard on the SSV Normandy and was promoted to lieutenant commander after the Battle of the Citadel. More recently, an Alliance tribunal called on Williams to testify about her experience with the Reapers. Yeah, it's very, it's very true. Thank you, Random. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, very. Yeah, rookie. I know. All right, I think that's all we need for now. All right, now, save and then for reals. Okay, here we go. Let's move. Look out! Wow. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Okay. Wow, that is epic. Epic. Come on, let's go. Okay, you can drop down. The environment's not more fluid. Come on. We'll have to go this way. He runs a little oddly, I have to say. Looks clear. Let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me, but we're taking heavy fire. Husks! Take him out! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo! Come on, we gotta move! Oh, nice. Take these things out the old fashioned way. Ah! Whoa! Don't let him grab you. Uh. How about I just bitch slap him? Apparently. I see we haven't gotten rid of the ammo Gotta problem. Find a way out of here. Gotta get some ammo. Watch it. Through this way. Night mojo. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, Xanos. It's okay. I'm gonna have to check it out later, Xanos. I'm a little worried about doing Everyone's that with this game. Dying. Since I just started it. <laughs> ah, it's always okay. gotta save the kid. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Thanos, the answer is no. <laughs> I can't do that right now, so I'll have to see whatever epic thing is later on. And also, hi. Ah, Good to see you. Goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try. Whoa. You can't save them all. Exactly. It's so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our... Yeah, good to see you, man. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you're a council specter. That has to count for something. I thought I was relieved of duty. Gotcha. 
thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Uh, more than one? How many times did I save you? Reload. Let's keep moving. The Citadel I know about a... that. Spectres are agents from I know the... about that. The Reaper called Husks are I the know aggressive about that. mindless. Although melee, com... Although melee combat applications for the Omni tool are almost as good as the device itself, the feature was lost. Yeah, that's because of me, though. Prior to the Reaper invasion, the need to take on multiple Husks in close quarters forced the Alliance to develop ways to enhance the tool's offensive capability. The most common melee design is the Omniblade, a disposable silicon carbide weapon flash-forged by the tool's mini fabricator. The transparent, nearly diamond-hard blade is created and suspended in a Mass Effect field safely away from the... <laughs> Everything's a Mass Effect field. Warning lights illuminate the field so the searing hot blade only burns what it is intended to. The opponent. More technically adept soldiers frequently modify their Omni tools to maximize stopping power through electrical, kinetic, or thermal energy. Some troops integrate the weapon with their kinetic barriers, transforming the Omni tool into a wrist mounted bludgeon. Wrist mounted bludgeon. Others Sound me. It sounds good to me. Gases held in place by a Mass Effect field and ignited upon impact. All prove deadly surprises for opponents who expect a disarmed Alliance warrior. That's cool. Yeah, the squad is just what I that's what I thought. Uh. All right, Xanos. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. So, Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. Wow. ETA three minutes. Lieutenant Commander, Ashley! Oh, Christmas. Whoa! Yeah, exactly. As I've said, I'm not a fan of how EA handled things, but I'm not... Not enough to be... Not enough to be, like, just, you know... Normandy, unwilling to uh, play anything by them. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down. No, they have a right to be pissy. They do. Oh boy. Keep your head down. Nice job. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? Yeah, what did Nam said? It's fine, people can have different opinions. That's no. cool. No problem. I don't have a problem with that. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Whoa. I can roll?
That didn't work. It's not a synthetic. My bad. Rolling. Okay. Yeah, I have to... Glad to see Incinerate works as well as always. And I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. I know, man. I don't understand why I keep forgetting about it. Alright, that's good to know. That's true, Arctic. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've good, got wounded down here. Good to know, Gil. And uh, thanks for the info, guys. Lieutenant! Damn it, I lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Ow, whatever they're hitting me with. Hey, if it isn't Joker. Ladies and gentlemen, the Normandy. Let's go. Yeah. What's up, too bad crew? What? You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you. 
And I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Uh oh, piano music. Oh no, brah, you killed the kid. You killed the ki- Oh, now it's over. Now it's on. Before you were just hitting Earth. You killed the kid? I'm taking this fight to you. Personal. You don't kill a kid. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Say what you will about Bioware, they know Epic. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Mass Effect 3. In the beginning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Who am I? Who is my mom? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war is already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker! That you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Saying heavy losses. Our force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Vrothian archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. See you, Nam. Thanks for stopping by, man. Good to see you. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. <laughs> I know, right? Aren't they? Seriously. Oh my god, is it the new Mako? Yeah, I do notice that. Or is it another hammerhead? Alright.
any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Alright. All of a sudden I thought another Mako. I was like, really? Uh wait a minute. No 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 no. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. I just did the first mission. I do not I do not have time to do this. Half hour tops. After that we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Nope. That was a tutorial intro. <laughs> I like how they level you up to 31. Okay. Let's level up the squad. Check out the journal. No, I'm sorry, guys. It really... I, I really am having a great time and all that, but I really do have to get some stuff done. Um, so I cannot stay up any later. Uh, at least not doing this. I can watch another stream, but I cannot be actively engaged in doing this stuff. So, let's see. Work and play. Gotta balance those things out together. All right. But before I do that, let me take a look at some Codex things. Admiral Steven, Flight Lieutenant Jeff Joker Moreau is a respected pilot with the Alliance Navy. Born I got you, Hiji. raised on Arcturus Station, he is widely considered to be the best helmsman in the system's alliance. Moreau enlisted with the Navy directly out of school and quickly gained the respect of his superiors. He served as pilot of both the Normandy SR-1 and its successor, the SR-2 and was at their respective helms during the Battle of the Citadel and the assault on the collector. It's a good point, Random. I gotta get on that. <laughs> suffers from Vrolic Syndrome, a rare debilitating disorder also known as brittle bone disease. Cerberus built the Normandy SR-2 as a second-generation version of the Alliance frigate SSV Normandy after the collectors destroyed the original. The SR-2's many alterations produced a craft nearly double the original size, requiring an even larger Tantalus drive core to compensate. Its state-of-the-art Kodiak shuttle can make landings the original Normandy could not attempt. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence, an AI known colloquially as Edie, coordinates many of the ship's combat functions, assisting and even supplanting human piloting. I know, right, Art? The Alliance has recently appropriated and refurbished the SR-2. In addition to tight beam communicators, the Quantum Entanglement Communicator, QEC, provides instantaneous contact with Alliance Command. It's the same guy that's been in all of those narrators. A sorry yeah. made Solaris armor can resist even the tremendous heat and it's kinetic cool stuff. energy of Starship weapons. The armor is nearly unsurpassed in strength because its central material, carbon nanotube sheets woven with diamond chemical vapor deposition, are crushed by mass effect fields into super dense layers, able to withstand extreme temperatures. That process also compensates for the diamond's brittleness. Diamond armor itself has two limiting disadvantages. First, while nanotubes and CVD diamond construction have become cheaper in recent years, it remains prohibitively expensive to coat starships or aircraft larger than fighters in Solaris material. Second, the armor must be attached to the ship's superstructure, so shockwaves from massive firepower can still destroy the metals beneath the armor itself. A popular misconception holds that the diamond composition of Solaris armor gives it a sparkle. In fact, atmospheric nitrogen impurities during the super hot forging process give the armor a metallic gray or yellow sheen. Yeah, I already know about Kata's just having a goatee. If that's what you guys are talking about, I already know about that. I saw that last night. Cyclonic or two nights ago, whatever. Technology, CBT, attempts to solve the higher end limitations of traditional kinetic barriers. Traditional barriers cannot block high level kinetic energy. Oh, I saw this already. Such as disruptor torpedoes. Because torpedo I saw that already. After the Battle of the Citadel, human and Turian volunteers spent three months clearing the station's orbit of debris. During the cleanup, the Turians secretly salvaged Sovereign's powerful main gun, along with much of the weapon's element zero core. Eleven months later, the Turians introduced the Thanix, a scaled-down version of the weapon. 
The Thanex's core is a liquid alloy of iron, uranium, and tungsten, suspended in an electromagnetic field powered by element zero. The molten metal, accelerated to a significant fraction of the speed of light, solidifies into a projectile as it is fired, <laughs> funny. hitting targets with enough force to pierce any known shield or armor. The gun can fire reliably every five seconds. The weapon's relatively small size allows it to be mounted on most fighters or frigates. It is now widely used by the Alliance military and is the primary weapon on the refurbished Normandy SR. I know, Goddess. You know, like, that's that's me being, uh, being, like, lore geek, right? The Reaper cannibals are frontline Reaper units created from corrupted Batarians. The nickname refers to their propensity to devour the bodies of fallen comrades. This triggers a biochemical process through which the cannibals spontaneously heal themselves and grow new chitinous armor. The transformation also appears to give cannibals a greater awareness of their surroundings, leading to more strategic behavior and careful use of battlefield cover. Yeah, I'm well, not all of it is. I mean, I'm, I'm basically trying to stick to the new stuff when I can. Um... Pretty sure I read that already before. Alright, here's the fall of Earth, which is recommended. The Reapers took Earth in a matter of hours. The Alliance knew the first wave would arrive from Batarian space, but they were unprepared for the speed and scale of the attack. The Reapers bypassed the 6th and 7th fleets at Terra Nova and Eden Prime, flying straight from relay to relay where they could neither be tracked nor intercepted. The tactic was unexpected since the navies of organic species would never risk coming out of faster than light within combat range or leaving enemies at their backs to threaten supply lines. At Arcturus Station, more than a dozen Reaper capital ships engaged the Alliance's second, third, and fifth fleets. This was mere screening for the main force. Dozens more capital ships continued through the Charon Relay where the first fleet had been lying in wait but was soon destroyed. The fourth fleet near Earth had a few minutes of advance warning. It stood no better chance. After destroying Earth's comm buoy, smaller Reaper destroyers wiped out all GPS and communication satellites in Earth's orbit and cut the undersea fiber optic cables that linked the continents. Earth's resistance now relies on outdated radio towers and a few quantum entanglement communicators whose match pairs happen to be on other continents or outside the Sol system. Communication is so limited that the fate of entire nations remains unknown. The capital ships bombarded defense installations and industrial centers, annihilating entire cities with populations in the low min millions, including Adelaide, Hamburg, Al Jubai, and Fort Worth. Meanwhile, Reaper destroyers descended into the atmosphere to melt roads and capture population centers with minimal loss of life. This is not an example of the Reapers being merciful. More likely, they are hurting their prey to make the coming harvest that much easier. Well, they're not screwing around, are they? Hey, what's up, Fifth? I am enjoying it very much, although I just got started and I'm going to be getting off here in just a minute. Admiral Hackett ordered the Normandy to Mars to locate new Prothean data that could help defeat the Reapers, but the archives on Mars are not responding. Investigate the dig site, find the Prothean data. All right. Here's where I have to look at the uh, this tactical cloak thing I was doing before. So, I like the extra rifle damage by 40% while cloaked, but I actually think firing a power, as somebody said, I think Arctic said, incinerate plus the shot is going to be better. So I'm going to do that, because I do use incinerate a fair bit. So I'm going to do that one. Alright. Now the question is, since we're talking about incinerate while we're on that subject... Yes, I do. No, I, I just think that with the way I play, rookie, it's probably going to work in that favor. What I'm trying to decide is if I want to, if I, is if I want to put a point in fitness, or just save it to finish up incinerate, and then basically put points in fitness from there. Because I'm not going to melee a lot, but obviously health is good. So I don't know. Just saying. Yeah, all right. Ashley. What? Yep. Damage durability, yep. Damage durability, yep. Increase weapon damage bonus. Hmm. Night random. 
Thanks for stopping by. Let's take some more damage, please. Can someone remind me? Ashley is not a biotic, right? Although this is power damage. She doesn't use a... Well, okay, here's the point. She doesn't use a sniper rifle, right? She's not. So I'm thinking I'm going to have... I mean, does she use a sniper rifle, though? Yeah, she has tech abilities. Because I don't think she uses a sniper. So if she doesn't use a sniper, there's no reason to increase that damage. Yeah, alright. Okay, so I'm going to give her more power damage because she doesn't use sniper. I know she... Well... Hmm... I'm just wondering what she usually uses, though. Um, I think that's going to be more broad. So I'm going to stick with that. Hell yes, squad mate weapon damage. Absolutely. That's Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright. Um... Weapon accuracy and firing rate. Recharge speed. So she is a sniper? Well, great. Ready to fire, why? Hmm. Alright, in that case... Wait, oh my god. They made me up undo everything? Really? Ugh, seriously? Accuracy is useless. All right. Whoops. Alright, James. This guy I don't know anything about. Carnage? Wow. Arms Master. Alright. Boost offensive and defensive abilities. Increase health to shield weapon damage. Damage durability health and damage. Yes, please. I like the support system. Alright. Carnage. Alright, I'll take what you guys say and I'll... Is it better to have the AoE side? Can it, like the, uh, this side up here? Because it can hit multiple enemies, I assume, right? Really? Damage over, damage over the radio? Okay. Alright. Wait, can I not save? Why can I not save? Do I have to, like... Do I have to get out to save? Oh, there we go. Alright. Okay. Bosses. Alright, cool. That's awesome. Alright, folks. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, uh, folks, that I can't play longer. I really enjoyed that, but I just cannot. Now, don't everyone leave on me yet. Um, because I want to, uh... I want to say my usual goodbye, and I want to raid someone. Um, did I hear people say that Kata is now officially off? Is he done or not? Or is he still streaming?
Can you stream me now? Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna have fun then. Um, hold on a second. Here we go. Give me a second. All right. Hold on a second here. All right, I'm going to uh, pop this in in a second. So, yes, um, before everybody leaves, um, let me just say a couple things quickly before we do this. Uh, we're going to raid Kata's channel. So, Rookie, if you would be so kind, or one of my mods, to uh, post a link to his channel. And then what uh, Rookie just did is what I'd like you folks to do. R of Raid Volcania, and you just put the A next to the I. You just put it as one word, and it will come up with something awesome. I want to thank everybody for watching along with me. The, seriously, uh, having Twitch has really changed my the way that I game. I really I've always obviously been a gamer, but having you guys along for the ride has really been great. It's a lot of fun. It's like the old days of being uh, you know hanging out with my friends and playing this. So I really appreciate it. And I want to thank you all for doing that because it's been great. And I want more of these more of this to happen. So the more that we get, the better. So please spread the word about the channel. Please follow if you like what you saw and heard. I want to thank Rookie Demiser Satobo as always. Arctic Man, you had the one liners going tonight. So <laughs> thanks a lot, dude. Good to have you on. Art thou bored? I was glad you were able to be a part of this. I'm glad you're following. Determinologies as always. Duty, I'm glad you were able to get in here. Parker, it's good to see you. Akanku, as always. Ged, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Guilt, is always good to see you. Hiji, you were with me the whole night, so that's great. Baker, is always good to see you. Joy and Kagi, very good to see both of you as usual. Lego, my friend, good as always to see you, as well as Laporce. Manu, of course, the legend that is Manu Django, good to see you. Maps, of course, good to see you. Maps, uh, Morris, always. Uh, Polar, um, been with me for so long long. Good to see you, Polar. Um, Splatter, of course. Talicos. Goddess, thank you for your Mass Effect knowledge. I always appreciate that. T-minus, of course, and Too Bad Crew. If you guys like what you saw, please continue to follow. And uh, once I get off, please make sure you do that raid with Kata, because I think it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be funsies. I'm going to be um, streaming this uh, hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, uh, again, uh, depends on I'm in the middle of grading and writing, so we'll see. But I'll do the best I can to have that happen. All right, everybody. Um, thanks a lot, and I will catch you all very soon. Have a good night.